Hi, this is Lee Amos with Conservation Foundation of the Gulf Coast. I'm out here at uh, Pine Island with uh, Ed Chapin from the Calusa Land Trust. And today we're collecting pine cones from longleaf pine trees. Longleaf is a type of southern pine that was logged extensively in the United States. And uh, now we have just 3% of the longleaf forest left. So it's really important to protect longleaf and to, to propagate the, uh, the trees and to restore land with longleaf. So I'm gonna use this long pole. It's an easy way to get the cones out of the tree. I'll knock that cone out. This is what one of the cones looks like. And they look green, but we're going to put this in a bag and leave it in a warm spot and it, it'll open up and all the seeds will come out. You can't really wait till they're ripe because when they're ripe, well, it opens up and all the seeds come out. So you have to pick them early and let them ripen on the shelf, so to speak. Here is a longleaf pine cone that has gone to maturity on the tree and opened up. You can see it's quite large. Uh, if you were to compare this to a slash pine, you'd see like how much larger than my hand this is. And a slash pine pine cone would probably be, you know, more palm size. Yeah. So they're very much larger. The, the leaves are a little bit longer and they have three needles per uh, sheath. Um, so as you can see, this I just pulled out two needles here. This is from a slash pine. When you have three needles per sheath, that's the, uh, the longleaf pine. There's three needles per sheath right there. The slash have both twos and threes, so it's a little confusing. Yeah. But if you find a tree that has only three needles and big pine cones, well, that's a longleaf pine and you found something special. So we'll take these cones and uh, take the seeds out, bring them to a nursery where we'll propagate them, and then bring the trees back in about a year and plant them back on Pine Island. And in that way, we can help restore the longleaf forest. So my thanks to Calusa Land Trust for helping us in this effort. Oh, my pleasure. Be glad to help. And need, uh, need more pine trees on Pine Island. That's a fact. <laughs> that's why it's named Pine Island, right? Exactly. And um, please, uh, you know, go to our website, learn more about our efforts to restore Pine Island and to protect land in our area. You can visit conservationfoundation.com, like us on Facebook, Conservation Foundation of the Gulf Coast, or visit our Instagram page, Conservation Foundation GC. Until next time, this is Lee Amos, having fun in the field.